You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. You have no conscience. And you realize that you will end us. Oh, thank God you did. Very good. Get out of here. You're looking at me. Once upon a time, Jesus of Nazareth encountered a woman, the woman of Samaria, a lousy woman that was changing men like rags. As at the time she met Christ, she had married five men and the one that was banging her at that point, she acknowledged was not even her husband. That woman, just a wacko like you. I'm not going to spend much time here. What do you want? I want you to assure me that you're the same Randy guy. Depends on what you mean. I'm still Randy, but I don't do shits lately. And what do you mean by you don't do shits anymore? The gospel of Jesus Christ is getting louder and louder in almost all the streets. Meaning, if you're not been listening, then I must say you're living in isolation. Everybody is listening and the gospel is gaining ground. Wait, hold on. I can't believe this. Randy guy sitting down and preaching the gospel to me. Helen, what do you want? Listen, I'll pretend like I didn't hear your whole gospel drama. You're a killer. And once a killer, always a killer. Is this the reason why you invited me here? Hey. His name is Protocol. And he's an evil man. And the fact is that I like him very much. You see? It's in my nature to have a thing for evil men. We've been in a relationship for two good years. And he has proposed all the love in this world to me. But I brought you here this night because I want you to turn him off. My name is Protocol. Protocol of a child. We are the original sheets that run this town that is filled with sheets. People will always say that I live. And that is when they provoke me. I bring out the beast in me. Don't provoke me, please. Put that that God and see the fuck down there, let's talk business. I encountered him once, but I must tell you he's not one of the guys I would like to turn up. It seems like you don't know who you're talking to. I am Helen, the light that shines in the whole of the city. You call yourself light when you still consider evil men as the best people that can wear your ties. What kind of light is that? Listen, I won't sit here and wait for you to insult me. Let's say I make you a deal. I give you two million naira, you get the job done. I'm sure you know where he lives. Well, there's always the last assignment waiting for the mafia. My fee is five million naira. Soon as I get your credit alert, I will settle down to work. But you didn't even give me your account number. I'll leave it in your car. You don't know the car I came with. Helen, I will not be parading myself as the randy guy of this city if I don't know what is happening in this city. I'll leave the account details in your car. Remember, five million naira. I'll be really shocked if this guy even knows the car I came out with. I just drove that car for the first time today.
Wow! He sure is the Randy guy. Financial worth to Helen is five million naira only. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Take a look at the text message. That is bank credit alert. Helen remitted five million naira to his account. Wow. So what is it for? The same Helen I made a millionaire. Helen has gone to him to hire him to turn me off. He charged five million naira, and Helen paid five million naira for him to turn me off. What is my offense? Because I told her the truth that I'm not going to punish my unborn children by allowing a decrepit asshole, a woman who is morally bankrupt to be their mother, which is the truth, known by everybody. That's what I told Helen, and he went to this man here to hire him to turn me off. Jesus Christ. I mean, this is crazy. Why would she do that? What for? Oh, well, I know you guys can always cause her to disappear from the planet, but I plead with you not to do it. I believe she can come back to her senses soon. Brandy, I can tell you immediately that Helen has got no senses. She has no conscience. I sincerely appreciate your coming here to give this information. Thank you very much. But do me one favor. You have to just, just give him back his phone. I want you to go. Handle your part. And leave us to handle our part. If you kill that girl, her blood will be on her heads. I came here because you told me you decided to break away from negative life. Let us not expand the kingdom of Satan by killing that girl. I mean, she would go to hell, and the devil and his evil agents would be happy. Somebody's talking about the devil and his agents. Why would she do that in the first place? I sincerely wonder who the devil is. This is crazy. Why would she do that? What for? I don't know. I've said from the other day. Oh, God. He 
you see the man that got you pregnant? Oh. I mean the caller. The man that has been calling me. Um, you know what? Thank you so much. You can go. When I need you, I'll call you. It's obvious that the caller is the same man that got you pregnant and I am pleading on his behalf. Please take his call. Perhaps he has uh, reason to the fact that he is responsible for a pregnancy. Why would you just jump into conclusions like that? You know what? Go. It's obvious that she doesn't want to take my calls. And I guess the only thing we have to do now is for you to call her. I am sorry, Pastor Stanley. But why would you want me to call her? She is carrying an illegitimate child and has brought shame to the faith. No, no, I don't want to talk about Uzium again. And if this is the reason you invited me to your office, then I'm afraid I must leave now. Let us share a part of the scripture. It is a popular part of the scripture I know that you know. Proverbs 14:12. The Bible says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are ways of death. Uh, but what has that got to do with the issue under discussion? Let us not curse one who God has not cursed. Let us not condemn the one who God has not condemned. Osama explained the circumstances that led to her pregnancy to her mother. And it is clear that it can hardly be her fault. It is unfortunate that it happened. But to be honest with you, it could have happened to any other person. I want you to call her with your phone so I can speak to her. Pastor Stanley, are you telling me that you want to marry a woman who is already pregnant with an illegitimate child in her womb? Kai, listen to me, my son. I am an elder in the Pentecostal family church, and I always stand by the truth. Forget about the fact that Ozioma is my daughter. I am telling you the truth. If you, a pastor, marries a woman who is already pregnant with an illegitimate child in her womb, you may have succeeded unwittingly in starting something which will eventually consume and destroy your church. My advice is very simple. Look for another sister. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Whatever you are going through right now, I need you to understand that we have not abandoned you. And God has also not abandoned you because he would never abandon his people. Is this Pastor Stanley talking? Yes, this is Pastor Stanley. How are you and um, how is your health? I'm fine, thank you, Pastor. Everything is fine. I, I apologize for not picking up your call. Truth is, I, I do not know what to tell you. I understand. Even as you speak right now, I can feel your agony and frustration. 
But I want you to understand that what happened to you can happen to any other person. You just have to put the past behind you and move ahead. Thank you very much. Now, please, try and pick my calls when next I call. Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you so much for your maturity and understanding. God bless you. Please, can I speak to my father, please? Yes, of course. She wants to speak with you. I don't have anything to tell you, Ajima. Just note that I am disappointed you can bring this shame on their family. What you are doing right now may seem right in your eyes, but I tell you, you are not helping her at all. This is not the end of our world, and I tell you that God has already forgiven her. And you should equally find it in your heart to forgive her. together do not eat themselves do you know what that means is that why you're treating me this way is that why you're handling me this is hell you've known for years so you should not be treating me this way i simply cannot eat you oh thank god Jesus of Nazareth encountered a woman, the woman of Samaria, a lousy woman that was changing men like rags. As at the time she met Christ, she had married five men and the one that was banging her at that point, she acknowledged was not even her husband. That woman, just a wacko like you, she met Christ and her life changed. She became a new woman, ultimately metamorphosed into one of the disciples of Christ. And I look at you, I see a work, our local example of the lousy woman of Samaria. You have already condemned me to death, that's why you paid five million for somebody to take my life. The only thing that came to my mind is to end you, but I'm not going to do that. Now listen to me, Helen. You have to locate a local church where you are going to give your life to Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And you must get serious with the things of God and I'm monitoring you every step of the way. If it could be proved that you are not serious, as I just said, I'm going to get you one more time. And listen to me, look at me, look at me. 
Nobody will like what I'm going to do. Leave this office. Puto, just like that. We are new men now. New men. Okay, it's okay. Do no bullshit. It's okay. It's gonna be hard. All right, man. No, no. I can't take it anymore, you in the... Uh-oh. Just stop. The doctor said you should take a castant work. Oh, okay? <sighs> Alright, just take a deep breath, eh? Because if I let you, you will go on and on again. For all the money in Central Bank, I will never sin against God. For He is the mighty God, the great I am that I am. He is a faithful God. And if you come to Him today, He will make your life better. Exposed to the ugly part of this earth. And I want to tell you something. Your redemption from the shackles of poverty can actually start tonight. And I volunteer sincerely to be your redeemer. Are you not the man that called himself the paymaster? The one that volunteered to be my redeemer. Thank God. Thank God I met you finally. I've been looking for you all over the place. Why? That night that you preached to me, you left something strong in my heart. You left a very strong word, and ever since that time I've been thinking about these words. And I've been praying God to make it possible for me to see you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord, yeah. So, look around here. Eh? He's our neighbor. My father's constant headache. Why would you say this to an old friend of mine? Uh-huh. No, that's not fair. Of course, I, I agree. I used to be a headache, not just to your father, but to everybody. But not anymore. Yeah, all things are fast. I am a new man now. New creation. A new creation, yes. Understand it. I don't know why you're saying this. Why are you making reference to old things? Okay, fine, yeah, but my father said it. Good to see you. Hallelujah. You look good. Thank you. I'm impressed. Ozioma. You are not yet married. How come that you are pregnant? I was drugged by the people that I trusted. I was raped. And this is the result. It's such a pity that my father disowned me in the process. Well, I'm here until the day I give birth. This is wicked. This is vanity of trust. Trust in mortal men. Is there a way I can lay my hands on these bastards? Oh. No, because I have a lesson to teach them and I want to teach them the hard way. Seriously. Sir, with all due respect, you don't call anybody a bastard. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't even use such words, but they give me a reason to. I can't understand this. It's unthinkable. Look, how can people see someone as outstanding as you are? And the person still has the effrontery to unleash this wickedness on you? It's unimaginable. I can't comprehend this. As you see me here today, I am a new man. 
And that's because of the noble words you left with me that night we met at the hotel reception. Praise Jesus. I, I am convinced that I owe you a whole lot. And as I'm looking at you now, I can confide in you. I can do anything for you. Right now, I just want God to do his thing. But there is something I always know that God never abandons his people. Of course, God never abandons his people. That is the promise of God we hear all the time. And people will always hide under that promise to perpetuate evil all over the place. But let's not go into that. Could you please come to my house much later? You won't believe this. I actually live in this close, number 16. Just few houses down there. That's my house. I live there. Can you pay me a visit? Um, I'll think about it. Good. Well, I'll have you know that I am so happy that you're a new creation. Thank you, respect, sir. You can never be my redeemer. God is my redeemer. And my redeemer, he leave it. Your redeemer leave it. Now I understand the complete meaning of that saying of yours. Your Redeemer lives. Indeed. Shimando, the Lord will bless you. Amen. He will bless you for all you did for my daughter. For planting in my vineyard. The Lord Almighty will plant in your own vineyard. Thank you, Mama. You know, I see the handwork of God in all of this. So I refuse to take the glory. I give God all the glory. Amen. We'll see. Yes, Mama. Have you given him a name? I wish Papa was here. Okay, that given him a better name. But I have a name for my son. I'm gonna name him after the man who put me through the shame. God is the ultimate decider of all things. He has not abandoned you. And we surely cannot abandon you. God is with you. And He will always remain with us. So in everything we must give Him the glory. It's okay.
Um, let's go. This one you're looking so down, Cass. Are you all right? I'm not wholly all right, sincerely. There's nothing I want to discuss with your friend. That is why I'm here. You are my neighbor, and you know me very well. I want you to make it work, please. What is it you want to discuss with my friend? First thing is that you have to understand that I am not one of those men that will just start doing something without thinking. What I came to discuss is something that I have given critical thought over and over again. And I am convinced that your friend is unique and very much outstanding. And that is the reason why I want to make her my wife. I understand she traveled and uh, can you direct me to her village? I'm ready to go. Well, I cannot say anything for now. I will have to discuss with her. Okay, I understand, but can you at least give me her telephone number? I have some things to tell her. Sweet things, and I can tell you that she will enjoy them. Just, just give me her number. Let me call her and explain myself. Please. Protocol, let me tell you the truth. Ozema is just trying to get stronger. She's trying to be stronger for the challenges ahead. And that is the reason why you have to give me this number. Or at least direct me to how I can see her. I want to be part of those challenges that she's going to face. Listen, I understand that she's passing through a turbulent time and she needs to become strong. I volunteer to be her pillar of support. To make her stronger. You are the one that can make this thing work. You know me, Shiwendo. I will advise you to leave everything to fate. If it's the will of God that the both of you will see again, so be it. Why are we always doing this, you and why? Why should we leave it to faith, something we can handle as people? Why are we disturbing God, praying to God to come and help us do something we can do? Protocol, I cannot determine her future for her. I can't. Look, when you see her, you should tell her exactly what you're telling me. On, listen first, understand that uh, his marriage I'm talking about is not girlfriend rubbish. I want to marry her, make her my wife. Can't you just understand it, please? When you see her, you should be able to tell her, please. I just have to get inside. <laughs> I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry. Is it because of girls rubbish I used to do with your father? No, it's not. Trust me, it's not. I, see, when I am different now. I'm different, I, I'm no longer a troublemaker. This is a Christian that is sanctified that is going to help. Very close to God now. Please. Just at least a telephone number. Let me just call. Which kind of nonsense is this? I'm not a man. 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 I'm ready, okay. and I'm on my way to Anicha, like I told you. But um, the baby is sleeping, and I know that you can help me take care of him. I will. Please greet you wonder for me. I will, Mama. <laughs> Please, God, help my daughter to get this job. Please, I beg you. It will help her go off her So She has suffered so much. She could be good. Oh, I love so. I know they've briefed you already, but I'm here to ask for forgiveness. I understand the level of maturity you exhibited the other night when you let your boys not waste me. Other men would have asked them to waste me, but you did not. You allow me to go and leave, and I'm here to show you that I'm leaving. 
But I'm also here to ask you to please forgive me for everything I have done. Please. Stand up. Sit down. You see, Helen, I have forgiven you. Sincerely, as in honestly, from the deepest part of my heart, I have forgiven you. Because I have come to this stage in my life where I now realize that to err is human and to forgive is divine. I hold nothing against you. And that is the reason why I ask them to grant you assets to this place. But importantly, I was told that they have obeyed my instruction. Yes, exactly. I'm now a member of the Reading Master Church of All Nations Arena. We have a very big TV ministry, and it's a very good church for the youth generation. That's good, that's good. Now, I want to ask you something important, Helen. If someone should ask you to explain the reason why I wasn't wasted as you planned it, what would you say? God is the reason. I think you answered right. Thank you very much. God is the reason. And I want you to understand that God is everything. As you live here now, I am so impressed that you have decided to turn a new leaf. To begin a new life. To be a new individual. And that is the totality of the plan of God for us. Do realize that God is everything and that nothing can ever work without God. He is the Alpha, He is the Omega, and He is the owner of everything we can ever think of. They will close back the door when you are gone. Once again, you're welcome. Sir? Randy has refused to pay me back the money I remitted into his account. Really? I will see to that. Thank you, sir. Good day. A good man was concealed in the veil of an evil man. I feel so ashamed over what I did. of this, why are you standing up? Chewende, a man that controls all that you control is a rich man. And I'm not that friend to underestimate another friend just because we're friends. I'm standing up because I respect you. I do. Your humility is so intimidating. Please sit down. Thank you very much. What's the power for? Congratulations. Why are you confusing me? Why would you be congratulating me? Okay, um, look around this office. And what about it? <laughs> okay, um, I have been mandated by the head office to employ someone that can take over from me. Someone that I can trust. The box stops on my table, so I settled for you. Are you serious? Oh my god. So what should we be doing? They want me in Enugu for bigger responsibilities. Uzioma, I cannot have you and employ another. Chindu, you are such a nice person. My God will bless you. I don't know why you keep sowing so much seed into my life. Mm -mm. Don't think of paying me back. I want God to pay me back. I just want you to be happy. Huh? I beg you. You owe me nothing. So please, don't think of ever paying me back, okay? Protocol is still dying for you. He would want to see you. Protocol or indeed any other man. It's far away from my thoughts. 
I have a job now and I want to concentrate on it and make you proud. <laughs> That's the spirit. Congratulations <laughs> once again. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you deserve it, huh? <laughs> Mr. Stanley, are you telling me that you want to marry a woman with an illegitimate child? Kai, listen to me, my son. I am an elder in the Pentecostal family church, and I always stand by the truth. Forget about the fact that Ozioma is my daughter. I am telling you the truth. If you, a pastor, marries a woman, you may have succeeded unwittingly in starting something which would eventually consume and destroy your church. My advice is very simple. Look for another sister. you to realize is that I admire you so much. Are we still on this again, Pastor? I made a decision to have you as my wife. And as we are talking right now, I still stand by that decision to make you my wife. Just say yes to me and our marriage preparations will start immediately. Pastor, listen. I have a dent. I have an illegitimate child. And I do know the kind of congregation that you rule over. I watch your TV ministry and your followers are huge. I don't want to come between you and your ministry. I do not want to destroy your ministry. Can you please listen to your pastor? If we become man and wife, it will be a marriage built on love and forgiveness, which are cardinal parts of Christianity. And there is no way, there is certainly no way a marriage based on that can destroy the ministry. Rather, it will help it to grow. I want you to think about it. I'm sorry, I don't have anything to say at this moment. If you excuse me, I'd like to drop this phone. No, before, before you cut the call, I want you to realize that you don't have a dent. All our dents have been nailed to the cross of Calvary. I want you to feel the power in the blood of the risen one. I want you to see the love that's made the blood of Jesus Christ to take away all our debts. I need you to understand that the blood of Jesus has washed away all our debts. Think about it. I need you to think about it.
Your personal one. Thank you. I came in from Chile and she came, called me earlier on to ask me if I am it and I said no. But the phone was just bad now. Why would you want to send me a parcel without calling me? I guess she wants it to be a surprise. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh my god. Chiwinda is getting married? Just after one month in Enugu. It started like a joke the very week I came into Enugu. I have been following this guy and it got clear to me that he is serious. As you may have seen. I am getting married and you are the maid of honor. I wanted it to be a surprise to you and I'm sure I succeeded. I want to thank you for your cooperation and understanding as I look forward to seeing you in Enugu at least a week to the wedding. We have a lot of things to put together. We sure do have a lot of things to put together, Chuendu. Ah, I've always known. Chuendu is a true African woman. With a heart of angels. A woman like that will not find it difficult to find a suitor. She's blessed. Excuse me, ma. She went to just called me now to ask me if you receive a pass and I said yes. She said I should come look at your face and know how you look. What do you think that means? She went is very mischievous. She wanted to surprise me. So you can go back and tell her that she succeeded. Because okay. I am wowed. She's getting married. Mm, I see. Wow. Oh, really? <laughs> That's God working. That's God. That is God working. That's good. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Henry. Are you telling me that Ichi Oke Karo is part of this? Exactly what I am saying, mother. They said they consulted the chief priest and the old man told them not to crown me king. How is that ever going to be possible? Why are they trying so hard to provoke this family? What are you saying, mother? This family is provoked already. The elders in council want to terminate the royalty that runs in our family. And I am saying, mother, we must resist them. We must. The chief priests was very close to your father. I know both of them used to be the best of friends. And I also know he has visited this palace countless number of times. And each occasion, your father always gives him attention. What I don't understand now is, why would he suddenly change and he's taking sides with the elders and cancer? It is obvious, mother. Money, that's all, money. See, that's, that is one thing I hate about black men. We, we are so inconsistent. 